Nice having you again, my friends. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, the solution to part B of question 10B part one. Uh, in the previous video, we had looked at the solution to um, part A. Now, if you notice, we had found these values in the previous video. So if you're not sure about how we came about these values, you could always watch that lesson. It's the previous video in, this, in the playlist. Now, let's quickly get into it, okay? They're asking us to find the, uh, the angle the angle UVY. So quickly, let's just identify that angle. So if you notice, I'm considering the big triangle here that I'm running my pointer along, this big triangle, okay, my friends? UVY, that triangle, okay? So let's just quickly mark the angle that they're asking us to find, and it's that angle that is at the point V. Remember, any letter that's in the middle, that's the point where the angle is being formed. So they're asking us to find the size of that angle. So I'm just going to put a question mark there, okay? Okay. All right. So let's just look at how we would work our ways our way to that. Now, basically, my friends, um, quickly, since we have established that we are considering the triangle YUV, okay, then it's easy to find, based on the information that we have found in the previous video, it would be easy to find the angle at the point Y, okay? Because simply, if you notice, and I'm going to ask you to pay keen attention, my friends, uh, to these two critical points that I'll be marking here, if you notice the point u there and the point x that I've just marked on my circumference. These two points, if you notice, this is the arc ux, okay? And remember, an arc is just a portion or a part of the circumference, okay? So we're looking at these two points. Now, if you notice the 35 degree angle here that we found when we were working out part A, this angle here at z is 35 degrees. Now, if you should look carefully, and let me just change the pointer just to highlight that, if you should look carefully, the angle here, there are two legs that form this angle, this red line here, which is ZU or UZ, and this blue line here, which is ZX, okay, or XZ, whichever way you want to call it. Now, if you notice where these two lines meet, it forms the angle 35 degrees. So the angle that is formed at X, it is standing on the arc that we have just identified, which is this arc here, okay, my friends? It is standing on the arc UX, okay? And I can just run from U to Z, and if I should come down from Z, I would stop at X, okay? Now, if you notice, we have a unique situation happening here because this this same arc also subtends, okay, uh, the angle at the point Y that they're asking us to find. And again, if I should go at the point Y, this angle here that we want to find, they didn't ask us to find it, correction, that we are finding it in order to find the angle here that they're asking us to find. So if you should look at this angle here, Y, if you should run your pointer along Y, U, if you notice, Y to U, and if you should notice again, Y to X, these two angles, the angle at Z and the angle at Y, is standing on the same arc, okay? So, in a situation like that, the theorem that speaks to that is that angles that stands on the same arc are equal. Or, another way of expressing it is simply, um, angles in the same segment are equal, okay? So, let's just quickly look at that. Now, since we have a situation like that where both angles that forms at the circumference is standing on the same arc, then all these two angles would be the same size. So they are equal. So this also, since that is 35 degrees, this is 35 degrees. All right, my friends. So therefore, you, you, you can state, to, 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 to answer the question, to get to the question, you could say the angle, the angle UZO, UZ, or UZX rather, is equal to the angle, and we can highlight that U Y V, U Y V, okay, and it's equal to 35 degrees, okay. Now remember that's a geometric concept, so we have to state our reasons. All right, so uh, let me just pull up this reason so you can see it. All right, so here we have it. Angles at the circumference subtended by the same arc are equal, okay? So pretty much that's it to find that. So we know that this is 35 degrees. Now, my friends, quickly, we can go ahead now and we can find the angle that is here in the big triangle as we had identified, okay? So this angle here, let me use an, a brighter color. Let me put that in red, okay? So this angle here, if you notice, I mark my 
a square here. This is a 90 degree angle. So let's look at how we came about that. We can simply say y to u is a diameter. Why it's a diameter? Because it is a, it is a straight line that passes through the center of the circle. If you notice, it cut the circle into two equal parts. Okay, So it starts at this point on the circumference, passes through the center, and it stops at the other end on the other side touching the circumference over this side. Okay, Now there is a theorem that states where a radius or a diameter meet the circumference um, or where it touches the circumference where a tangent is also if you notice we had established in the previous video that uv uw or uvw is a tangent because it touches the circle at this point where a diameter meets a tangent at the circumference it forms a 90 degree angle okay my friend so this angle here would be a 90 degree so we could simply state now that the angle to solve for that for this angle, we could simply say then that the angle y u v is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so that's another geometric concept. So we are going to have to state our reason also. Okay, so let's just quickly pull that up. So here we have it, my friends. The diameter meet tangent at right angles or we could say at the point of contact okay so that angle there is also is a 90 degree angle now therefore therefore now to solve for part three we could say therefore the angle that they're asking us to find out which is u v y therefore the angle u v y must be equal to since we have the triangle now my friends if you notice we have this triangle working with now and we found the angle here to be 90 degrees just now and this angle up here is 35 degrees okay so let me just mark that out this would be the triangle y would be that point u would be oops let me just yeah u would be that point and v would be that point so now it's easy to calculate that angle so we can say UVY is equal to 180 minus, open bracket, we have the two other angles, the 90 plus the 35, okay? And simply, my friends, we're just going to calculate this by saying 180, <coughs> sorry, minus 90 plus 35, that will give us a 125, and that will be equal to 55 degrees okay so this angle here my friends this angle here uh at v that they're asking us to find is equal to 55 degrees and it's pretty much that easy now remember that's another geometric concept that we have just calculated so we have to state or reason okay so basically what we would do we would just state it here uh there we go we would say angles angles in a in a triangle sum to 180 degrees that's the theorem or that's the geometric proof we have used uh, feel free to leave a comment or ask a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye